going on Coco Mob? It's your girl Yoki and welcome back to my channel. So today is March 7th, 2021 and as you can tell by the title, we are doing four month post shaving Big Chop update. Um, I am very sorry that I've been a little MIA. I had some personal issues, some family issues that I had to uh, take care of and um, yeah, I am back. Um, but before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Select the notification bell to get updates because if you tune into the YCC, then you with the MOB and you don't want to miss a thing. Also, don't forget to share this video. Okay, so this video, this update is gonna, going to be very short because it's really not much that has changed. Um, the only thing that has changed is the fullness and the length of my hair, as you can see. Um, so yeah, let's just say, okay, so I, I big chopped on November 7th of 2020 and I'll have all those videos, um, all of my updates, um, my first month, second month, my third month, you know, link down in the description below. So make sure you guys check that out. But, um, I big chopped on November 7th, 2020, and this is my fourth month update not much has changed as far as my regimen um it's just the same jamaican black castor oil and some type of whatever you know conditioner or gel to define my curls so this is the type of jamaican black castor oil i use you can use any type of jamaican black castor oil works just fine and then as far as my leave-in cream is in my um it's in my hair bag i don't even know why it's not in here but it's in my hair bag and I'll put um, a picture up right here. And then this right here is the gel that I use to define my curls. Um, I do not use Eco Styler Gel anymore. I don't use the Pro Styler Gel. Maybe when my hair gets a little longer and I wanna slick it down into like a ponytail or something. But to define my curls, I do not use Eco Styler Gel and I don't use Pro Style. I don't use um, got to be glue gel I don't use any type any of those gels I use this gel because it's very moisturizing and it's um and it has aloe vera um pro vitamin b5 in this right here and it works well for my hair and it keeps my hair moisturized and juicy as of the um you know the the Eco Style Gel and the other gels just made my hair hard and it left a really nasty, cakey white cast over my hair. I'm not gonna lie, with this gel, it does, you know, you do you do get some buildup with this gel, but it's like you can deal with it because all I have to do if I do get buildup, all I have to do is just spray some water on it, work that in, and then boom, I am done. But uh, yeah, so this is basically the gel that I use and hopefully it doesn't change because I do know as my hair starts getting longer my products do change but I hope it does it's not like that because for some reason I feel like this product works even without oil because this is a oil a oily product as well um so yeah it really gives me moisture even if I didn't put any Jamaican black castor oil on it or any conditioner on it before I put this on there my hair even if I just wash my hair and then put this on there, my hair is moisturized. It's not getting super dry. It doesn't have like a white cast or a flaky cast over it. No, this stuff right here does the job. I also use the Hawaiian Silky Activator Gel as well. But yeah, those are the gels that I use um, as far as to define my curls. Um, but yeah, this is basically it, four months. Um, as you can see, my curls are there. I am so proud of my hair. I am proud of the growth um, on my hair. Um, I would never ever in my life put another box dye or any more bleach on my hair ever again because that really, really damaged my hair and it made it grow back a lot slower than any other times I've cut my hair. And I don't know why that is. I don't know. I just have to do some research. And if any of you guys know, please leave down in the comments why after you bleach your hair or dye your hair, it seems like your hair grows back a little slower than usual. But now it's growing at a, a, a good pace. It's growing a lot. Um, so yeah, I do have my curls. Let me just go ahead and get a strand of curl. Get that one. 
so that is my growth it i have shrink shrinkage a lot i have bad shrinkage like my hair can be out here like my my hair's true length can be out here but you'll never know because of how tightly and coiled my curls are but this is basically it you guys so i'm just gonna give a spin so i can show you guys all the way around what it's looking like um so yeah um so that's basically it stay tuned for my fifth month post big chop update um next month on the seventh i cannot wait i feel like as this journey is going i'm, I'm getting to know my hair all over again and yeah, that is it, you guys. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to leave that information down in the comments below. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Select the notification bell to get updates because if you tune into the YCC being with the MLB, you don't want to miss a thing. Also, don't forget to share this video. Also, don't forget to wear your face masks. Stand six feet from one another. Wash your hands. And you guys, stay blessed. Love you guys. Bye.